Hi everyone, my name is Robert and today I'm going to do a brief review of the Nemesis Kane Pro gaming keyboard and mouse set. So we're going to look at some of the basic functions, then we're going to look at the lighting and finally we're going to do a brief summary. Okay, let's get started. Both the keyboard and mouse are wired and they connect to the PC via a standard USB connection. They do not require any additional batteries. So I measured each wire to be roughly 120 centimeters. And what I like about the wires uh, on both the keyboard and mouse is they have a kind of multicolored cord effect. They're quite tough and I think this looks a lot better than just a bog standard black USB cable. The keyboard has two standard stand clips at the back and I measured it to be roughly 46 centimeters wide and uh, it does vary slightly but it is a maximum of 18 centimeters from top to bottom. The keyboard does make a noticeable clicking sound when typing. which I like, um, but I can see how some people, particularly uh, those who are used to using a quieter keyboard, it might take them a bit of uh, time to get used to. However, I do really like it, and I think it feels very solid and responsive. The mouse is really comfortable, and I found it to be a lot more comfortable than using a standard generic mouse. It has two buttons on its left side with forward and backward arrows printed on them. And by pushing these buttons, you can go either forwards or backwards to web pages in your recent web history. The mouse also has a button marked CPI, which is just under the scroll wheel. And this stands for count per inch. CPI basically adjusts the level of sensitivity of your mouse and this is reflected by how responsive the cursor is on the screen. I counted four different levels of sensitivity in total. Of course one of the main reasons to buy this keyboard is the lighting and it looks beautiful when set up in a darkened room. The three different lighting colours of this keyboard are red, purple and blue and you can cycle through the colours at any time by pushing the colour palette button which is located on the right side of the spacebar. Next to the colour palette button there is a button to adjust the level of brightness and there are four different levels of brightness in total. These are high brightness, medium brightness, low brightness and off. The mouse is constantly changing colour and it gives out this really great mixed lighting ambient effect. It's not possible to change the lighting or the brightness level for the mouse without literally unplugging it or turning off the PC. However, like personally, even if I did have these options, um, I probably wouldn't change it too much anyway because I do think it looks really good just as it is. Overall, I love this keyboard and mouse set. I think it looks great. It's comfortable and easy to use and have found the price to often be cheaper than buying a standard generic keyboard or mouse alone. I can't really comment on the overall longevity of this product. However, I've had it for over two months now. Uh, I've been using it every day and I've had absolutely no issues with either the keyboard or the mouse so far. The only slight gripe I had is I wish there'd have been a bit more variety in the three different colours you can choose from to light the keyboard. Apart from that, I think that the Nemesis Kane Pro gaming keyboard and mouse set is a really great product and is truly deserving of the five star rating I gave it on Amazon UK. I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching this review and I hope you found it useful. Cheers.